डू यू नो हाउ टू फाइन ट्यून डीप सिक मॉडल ऑन कस्टम डेटा एंड हाउ टू सेव दैट फाइन ट्यून मॉडल लोकली यूजिंग ओलामा एंड चैट विद इट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल ऑफ दिस हाई गाइज वेलकम टू फ्री बर्ड्स यू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर फाइन ट्यूनिंग द डीप सिक मॉडल ऑन द जी पी टी फोर जनरेटेड डेटा सेट एंड देन सेव इट लोकली एंड चैट विद इट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड फाइन ट्यून दिस डीप सिक मॉडल तो फर्स्ट इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द डीप सिक आर वन और डीप सिक मॉडल सो डीप सिक इज जस्ट वेरियस काइंड ऑफ मॉडल्स दैट आर ड्राइव फ्रॉम द डी डीप सिक वी थ्री दैट दैट इज अ फाउंडेशनल मॉडल ओके एंड डीप सिक आर वन इज यूज बेसिकली फॉर द लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड द प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग टास्क बिकॉज इट हैज अ रीजनिंग अबिलिटीज और वी कैन से इट हैज द थिंकिंग अबिलिटीज सो इट फर्स्ट थिंक्स एंड देन जनरेट द आंसर एज वेल बिकॉज इट ट्रेनड ऑन द चेन ऑफ थाट्स डेटा सेट and if you want to know more about the deep seek and its technical report you can watch my this video in which i explained about this architecture working with maths and examples as well in a very easy language and for you i i will put the link in the description or in the i button as well okay so now so now let's talk about the tools that are used in the fine tuning so first we use the unsloth so unsloth is a tool that optimize my fine tuning process by driving the matrix differentials and perform the uh, chained matrix multiplications that makes my fine tuning more efficient and more faster as well and you can load any kind of a large language model by using the fast language model dot from retrained it's works same as like the hugging face transformer library from which you uh, like uh, just pass on the repository name and then load the model as well okay and then we have the olama so olama is actually a open source tool that uh, serves as a powerful or user friendly platform to run the large language model locally on our systems because it act as a bridge between the large language model complexity their size and our local system requirements as well okay so now you uh, you are like completely familiar with the all the tools and all the deep seek r1 as well so let's fine tune this deep seek r1 model so here is my kegel notebook in which i uh, fine tune my deep seek r1 model so i use the lora technique that is actually a parameter efficient fine tuning technique if you don't know about the parameter efficient fine tuning and its types like lora and qlora you can watch my this video in which i explained about it in in complete detailed and also i fine tuned multiple kind of large language models as well i i will put the link in the i button or in the video description as well you can check out and fine tune multiple kind of large language models okay so for this deep seek r1 we are fine tuning it on the gpt4 generated data set here okay so first thing we just load our this uh, unsloth library install it and then we need to load our deep seek model so for this kind of a fine tuning we use a distillation model here okay and that is uh, distilled from the metas llama as well okay so for that we load it into the quantized form that's why we just put load in orbit as true okay and it's completely loading like this and after it load we need to set up our parameter efficient fine tuning setup okay because we need to set all the parameters that that are required to uh, fine tune that deep seek model on the lora setup as well okay so we have this kind of a code so this co uh, this code completely takes that it first takes our existing model that we just load here okay and uh, then it uh, uh, like add like small kind of like uh, parameter setups around our large language models at all the places like all the places means like uh, the query key and value vectors as well and along with the output vectors as well so for that it just add uh, extra parameters that can be trained by using the lora technique okay so we just set up everything that we just need like the uh, alpha its dropouts and everything like that to make the model sensitive or to make the model best for our uh, custom data set as well okay and after setting this up we need to load our data set so for that we have this uh, uh, alpaca gpt4 data set that has 52000 instructions we load with the help of load data set library here and after loading we just see that the data set is in this format it has uh, instruction it has the input and then it has the output and it has some extended output as well in the form of a text as well okay so we just so our first task is to make this uh, data into a form that is easily understandable by our deepseek r1 model in the form of instructions and responses as well 
so for that we need to uh, first uh, format this kind of data so for that we use the share gpt that we need to uh, style it into the gpt style kind of format data so for that we just get our data set and we pass this merge prompt so that our uh, instruction and then then we have the input here in a complete like ai generated prompt format kind of a thing and then we have the output and in the output it can take our output column and if we set here conversation extensions so it can take the next three kind of text as well as a conversation extensions as well so that all the kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, information be stored in a one single uh, prompt format as well okay so we do that we just uh, try to apply this on our this data set and now we have this we have the content that uh, that is our instruction the role is user it gives this kind of a content our answer and the role is assistant so in that way just format that kind of a data set for us okay and after that we need to create a chat template this chat template is actually helpful to uh, make the deep seek r1 model understand that we have these kind of instructions and these kind of uh, responses and the instructions are there and the outputs are there as well so we just apply this kind of a chat template on our this data set here and we can make our data with the help of a tokenizer here as well and now we have this kind of a data in a complete llm friendly way okay now let's train the model so for that we use the sft trainer so sft trainer is basically called as supervised fine tuning trainer because we are here using a supervised method because we have a, a kind of a instruction and we have a answer as well so that's why we are using this sft trainer from the trl library as well okay so it first take the model the tokenizer the data set as well and along with all the parameters that it need and it also need the field where the text is actually uh, present in our data set as well along with the max sequence length and along with the approaches that it can do about, along with the learning rate the optimizer everything that it should uh, require while fine tuning our model it takes everything with it okay we just add everything there and then we just call this kind of a, a trainer function and call the train so it just train for the 20 epoches here and after training is complete you see that its training loss is getting decreased as well okay and after at the end we now have a complete trained model here and now we need to uh, save this model locally and run it as well so i am doing it with the help of ulama here okay so first i need to install the ulama in the uh, kernel of this uh, kegel notebook as well so for that i use this curl command and it installs the ulama in the kegel kernel or kegel uh, kind of a bash format as well okay and then uh, we have to save that model okay we have to save that model along with its tokenizer as well and then after saving this model it takes some time and it's depend on your space as well it can take approximately to uh, 20 to 25 gb of the space to store now we need to start our ulama server so we just use the simple sub process here and uh, uh, call our ulama serve and in that way the ulama getting started in the kegels uh, kernel as well and then we need to create our deep seek fine tuned model from the model file this model file is created already above when we uh, save our uh, kind of uh, model here okay this model file will help us to uh, like uh, uh, save that model locally and run it as well okay in the ulama format so for that we just uh, have to uh, create this kind of model and then we use the pip install ulama and with the help of ulama we just kind of uh, call this kind of a model and ask a simple question that continue this fibonacci sequence and it's continue it so that means our model is completely fine-tuned and running successfully as well i ask another question as well i give him an instruction that how to add a chart to a document and it's give me that kind of response as well okay so that's how you can like easily fine-tuned uh, this deep seek r1 model okay i hope you completely understand about all the things that that are required in this fine tuning if you want to learn about the large language model fine tuning in detail from the scratch you can watch my this playlist in in which i explain about uh, fine tuning in detail and also fine tune multiple kind of large language models like uh, meta models the databricks models as well the microsoft 5 model as well all the things are there
okay so just learn and let me know about your feedbacks okay and in our next video we'll talk about the ai agents and how it works and uh, uh, what are the like kind of a tools that we can use to make those ai agents as well oh okay, guys and if you want to learn about the uh, generative ai data science and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so